Today on Sports Central, we'll be going over our next schedule preview this offseason, and it will be over the UCLA Bruins, and this is a team that went 4-8 in the 2019 season. And yeah, it was a bit of a down season for UCLA. Certainly, they were much better uh, a couple of seasons ago, but how will they be in 2020 is what we're going over here today. We'll be going over a few players that this team will be losing, who they're going to be returning, and also going over their schedule for the first time this offseason. Starting off the games that UCLA has had since November, we start off on November 2nd when they played Colorado. That was a home game. They won that one 31 to 14, but that would be the last win of the season for UCLA. They lose their final three games against Utah on the road, USC on the road, and they also lose to California at home. That Utah game certainly was a rough one. Uh, they only got three points in that one. They lost three to 49. Uh, but then again, I mean, Utah last season was something else. I mean, they were a great team. Uh, definitely one of the better ones in the Pac-12. Um, and then they also lost to USC. That was a road game, but of course USC once again, they were a good team too uh, last season. They lost 35 to 52 there. That was a big shootout game. Then they also lost to California once again at home, 18 to 28. So yeah, they did kind of drop off after that Colorado game. Certainly uh, it was pretty tough to win after that point. But yeah, once again, being a four and eight team last season, I mean, they, yeah, it was a bit of a down season for this team. And yeah, between September and October, they were three and five. Then between November and the rest of the season, they were one and three. So once again, they did drop off quite a bit uh, going into the rest of the season. But and once again, then again, their November was pretty tough uh, compared to most schedules. When we got into returning production for UCLA, they returned their quarterback, Dorian Thompson Robinson, uh, which he had just read over to, yeah, 2,700 yards last season with 21 touchdowns and 12 interceptions. So, yeah, he was a pretty good quarterback last season. Certainly, if he could lower that interception rate, that would help UCLA a ton, and especially uh, this offense, especially. I mean, yeah, when you got 12 interceptions, when you've got a 2-to-1 touchdown interception ratio, uh, that's, yeah, that's something that needs to be improved if UCLA will make a bowl game next season. It was their top running back in Josh Kelly, which he had just over 1,100 yards with 13 touchdowns last season. He was probably the best player on this offense last season. So, yeah, that's going to be a tough loss for them going into 2020. Uh, however, they do return their top receiver in Kyle Phillips, which he had just right around 700 yards with five touchdowns last season. They also lose their second receiver slash their top tight end, Devin Asasi. Or Assisi? I'm not sure how you pronounce that, sorry. Uh, but yeah, he had just right around 640 yards last season with four touchdowns. So yeah, I'm sure he's going to have a great career in the NFL. I mean, when you're a tight end and you put up uh, just right around 650 yards, anything over 600 for that matter, I'm sure he's going to be a great player going into uh, to the NFL. They returned their wide receiver slash running back, Demetric Felton, uh, which he had 925 total yards of offense with five touchdowns last season. And yeah, he kind of split up the receiving and rushing yards quite a bit. He actually had just right around 600 receiving yards last season. And then he also had 330 rushing yards too. So yeah, he kind of split up time between being a receiver and a running back. Uh, they also returned the receivers Jalen Irwin and Chase Cota, uh, which both of those receivers combined for just right around 700 yards, as both of them had right around 350 yards apiece. So, yeah, both of those receivers are going to be great as well. And as well, as far as the receiving core goes, I mean, you do lose your tight end once again in Devin, and yeah, that's going to be tough to deal with. But overall, I mean, you're returning your entire top receiving core otherwise. So, yeah, for UCLA and uh, for DTR, I think that's going to be huge for them. They lose one on the offensive line, one defensive lineman, as well as one linebacker, and two in the secondary. So once again, uh, the defense is, or as far as the defense goes, this UCLA team isn't losing a whole lot at all. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of matter losses for UCLA going into 2020, though. If you include the offense, I mean, once again, uh, losing your top running back in Josh Kelly, that's going to be a huge loss. Uh, once again, when he had, over, I mean, he had over 1,100 yards last season. So I do expect him to do really well in the NFL, uh, especially since he was able to do that with a pretty poor offensive line too. So. Yeah, Josh Kelly's definitely got a good future. But as far as UCLA goes, I mean, this running back court, if they can get a good running back to replace Joshua Kelly, I think that this UCLA team could certainly uh, make it to a bowl game in 2020, no doubt in my mind. I mean, their quarterback in Dorian, I think he's going to prove a ton. He put up some pretty good yardage uh, last season. Once again, he was just over 2,700 as far as the yards go. And with the touchdowns and interceptions, I mean, he, he didn't have a very good touchdown and interception ratio. But yeah, if he can lower that interception rate, I think this team definitely could make it to a bowl game. And this offense could be very much improved going into 2020 as well. So, yeah, chances of a bowl game in 2020, I'd say they are moderate. I wouldn't say they're very high right now. Of course, once again, this is a team that went 4-8 in the 2019 season. So, they were two wins off for making a bowl game in 2020 or 2019. So, yeah, for UCLA, they're going to have to improve quite a bit if they're going to make it to a bowl game. But I definitely think it is possible uh, that they're able to do so. Moving on to our schedule for 2020, you start off on August 29th. You've got a week zero matchup against New Mexico State. Then you go to Hawaii on September 5th. And then you've got a bye week. And then you've got San Diego State on the road, followed by Stanford 
on the 26th. That's Vars October he goes. You got Arizona and Arizona State in back to back weeks. Then you got Colorado on the road in Boulder. Then you finish off October with Utah at home. So, yeah, especially that October is going to be pretty tough. Those last three weeks with Arizona State, Colorado, and then Utah certainly will be pretty tough. Uh, the good thing is you do have a bye week in between the Colorado and Utah games. But, yeah, once again, those three games will likely be your tougher ones. You also got a tough one against Oregon State on the road in Corvallis. Then you got Washington State, USC, and California to finish off. Uh, your regular season. So, yeah, here's what I'm expecting. I'll give you two guaranteed wins. Those will be your two first games of the season with New Mexico State and Hawaii. Uh, once again, that Hawaii game I considered leaving normal, but with it being on the road, I mean, yeah, it's a little questionable for me, but I think Hawaii is a team that's going to drop off a little bit in 2020. I mean, they made, a, they made it to a bowl game in 2019, but once again, they're losing a lot of talent. So for UCLA, I think this team definitely could beat them on the road. That's where your record estimation is going to be 5-7 and seven to 6-6. Six and six. And I'm not going to put up a 7-5 and five at the end there. I don't expect UCLA to really make it much past 6-6 uh, six and six if they do make a two-bowl game. But yeah, your record estimation, I'm pretty confident that UCLA will hang right around the barrier of making a bowl game and not. Uh, once again, I mean, they were 4-8 last season, so you got to consider that this team really uh, struggled in a lot of games. So yeah, for UCLA, I expect them to improve quite a bit. I mean, I'm, I trust their quarterback quite a bit, uh, Dorian Thompson. I think he's a great quarterback. And, yeah, I expect them to improve a ton. So that's why I'm putting UCLA uh, with a pretty good chance to make a bowl game going into 2020. Now, that's that about wraps up this schedule preview on UCLA. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below on this team. Let me know whether you disagree with anything here. If you do, be sure to let me know in the comments below. I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts on this. But, yeah, once again, thank you guys all for watching. Stay tuned for more from All Sports Central. If you enjoyed this schedule preview, be sure to slap a like on it. Subscribe as well. It really helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate that as well. But, once again, thank you guys all for watching. Stay tuned for more. I will see you all later.